Hey my people, look at what we have on the menu today. This right here is, is it chicken peas? I'm not very certain, but I think it is called chicken peas. I don't know its English name in well, very well, but in my language, perfectly well, it's La Pena. So guys, we're going to cook this, and yes, I decided to cook it together with you. Meanwhile, is it your first time watching a video on my channel? If yes, I mean, why aren't you even subscribed before you finish this video or right after this? Go ahead and click that word subscribe guys and get glued to the channel and definitely you're, you're not going to miss anything that I'm going to be uploading and on top of that please turn on your notification bell as well so that you're notified immediately put up anything guys so this is our one of the traditional meals that we have it makes a very delicious meal you can cook it as sauce you can cook it in a very unique way guys this is peace all I'm going to do is to sort it now and then put it on fire so this is just water you can have a look at this. This is just water and that is the water I'm going to use actually for cooking it. So right away, let me put it on fire. And this is the water I'm just going to use for washing. So let's sort this together, guys. There is a way it does not be clean and that is the reason we sort. Or at times there are these small particles which are not very healthy. As you can look at it, it does not look healthy. So we sort that out and leave the good grains so this is the things I'm sorting. You could be wondering what is she even removing out of this. There is dirt in between here. And yes, here we are. I'm actually done sorting as you can see. So this is the dirt I got out. Some are even stones by the way. And yeah, this is the clean one, so I'm just going to throw this away and then put this in water to wash. Otherwise, guys, as I do the washing, do you guys have this food in your area? I mean, this sauce here. Do you have it or do you... Have you ever eaten it maybe from another country or something like that, guys? Let me know otherwise in my comment section as usual. You know, I love to interact with you. So let me know if you've ever eaten this or is there a, spe a specific way how you guys cook this please go ahead and also let me know and then there are these ones that float you, you you could be wondering why i'm removing this these ones that is floating on top of the water this is also not healthy ones so i'm going to just remove them off like this and the ones which are beneath like the ones which are sinking down are the good ones and that's the one that we are going to cook Perfect. There we go guys, so let's cover it and leave it to get ready and definitely we're going to get back to that. I'm actually out of charcoal you can have a look my charcoal is almost over so I'll need to I meanwhile I need to show you how it has it has actually now stopped boiling it was boiling real hard but this is how it is it's almost ready you can see the change in color so let me add the charcoal before it can boil more then we do that which is going to make it unique guys so let me put this down and then add some charcoal So literally, uh, the, the duration it takes on fire depends on how new the piece is. This one seems new. That is why I'm actually surprised. Just one full, um, the, the, the first charcoal that we put almost got it ready. So meaning it is still very fresh from the garden. But if you buy the old type, it can take a lot of time. 
on fire or at times it does not even get ready in fact i'm going to need to add water to this so let me just do that already right i don't need i don't need to add much because it's almost ready so that water will get it ready guys i want to show you when it's boiling real hard and this is how it looks like so it is almost there I don't know if you're able to see clearly because of the steam coming out, but that is basically what I want to show you. Let's leave it there to boil more. So guys, it looks like our paste is actually ready. Because it is actually soft already, you can see. So it is ready. All we are going to do is just to add some salt to taste. But the salt is going to mix as we as we add in the the, the the paste the peanut butter well so let me just give it like one minute for the salt to mix properly as we do that let's be doing this other part we're going to paste from here so guys this particular breakfast here it's it's a very heavy one meanwhile if you eat this you need to, if it is in the morning, you will not even have lunch because you will feel too, in fact, till evening, you will still be satisfied. It is something very heavy. And this is how we do it. When it's when the peas are ready, you add in the paste. And preferably, paste from Sim Sim, what some of you call sesam or whatever, I don't know. But it's not very nice with uh, Ginat paste. I, I don't know why, maybe because Ginat paste is a bit sweet. So that's the reason we prefer to use this other paste from g -Nuts, guys. So let's carry this off. And then another thing, when adding it, when pasting, we don't add soup. It's just the peas without, as you can see, I'm only getting the peas only. And that is the reason I made it to drain. I didn't leave any soup in it. So we're only going to add without without any soup so after this i'm just going to use this meanwhile let me talk about this one this is i don't even how it, it's it's not even a mingling stick anymore as you can see this part is a bit round so we use this particularly for pasting food meanwhile the usual mingling stick that we that you know is what we use for mingling and maybe frying sauce or whatever so this is specifically for Pesting because in my line we do a lot of pesting guys or D or peanut butter is one of our most eaten Sauce, you know, so we literally eat or do with anything like if I say anything I mean anything even in porridge you know <laughs> you, you can imagine guys. Let's paste already So this is how you do it. You just keep Mixing it like this So it's going to make a very thick, hard, and very heavy sauce. So this is mostly eaten with black tea, or even water, or what else? Not with juice, I think majorly black tea and water. Because it's our breakfast, guys. And this is very good for people who do like heavy work, garden work, builders, any work that takes a lot of energy. This is your breakfast. So guys... Oh, I wish you were here to test it. It's really, really very nice. And you know, it tastes even better when it's cold, eh? like when it has cooled down. So, whew, and we are done. It doesn't even take a lot of time to prepare it. As you see, this is actually ready. So, I don't know, guys. Have you ever eaten this before? Oh, I don't know. Oh, let me test. <laughs> Ooh. It's hot. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but woo, it's just very mouth watering, guys. It's very heavy, very very nutritious, of course. Oh, what can I say, guys? Thanks a lot for watching this particular video, guys. Stay tuned for more yet to come your way, guys. Thanks for loving me.